ओके सो हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू बीवीएलएस एट डिजाइन लेक्चर नंबर 28 बी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कैस्केडिंग प्रॉब्लम और द रेस प्रॉब्लम इन डायनामिक सीमोस लॉजिक ओके सो द मेन प्रॉब्लम इन द डायनामिक सीमोस लॉजिक अपार्ट फ्रॉम चार्ज शेयरिंग एंड चार्ज लीकेज इज कैस्केडिंग सो व्हेनेवर वी कैस्केड टू डायनामिक सीमोस लॉजिक स्टेजेस द वोल्टेज लेवल ऑफ द आउटपुट ऑफ द सेकंड स्टेज इज डिग्रेडेड okay so that will introduce the possibility of a logical glitch which will lead to a incorrect logic value by the circuit created by the circuit so to understand the origin of the problem let us analyze a two stage nan3 and nan3 dynamic cascade so this is the circuit of your two stage nan3 nan3 dynamic logic the first stage is my three input nan gate dynamic logic and my second stage is also a three input nan gate dynamic logic so as you can see very very clearly uh, you know both the stages have their pre charge transistor gate terminal common and connected to the clock okay even the evaluate transistor mn1 and mn2 its gate terminal is connected directly to the clock okay so clock equal to 0 both the pre charge you know both the pre charge transistors are turned on together and if the clock is 1 both the evaluate transistor mn1 and mn2 are turned on together fine and all, we have also connected the output of the first stage directly to the input of the you know one of the pull down network so that transistor we are calling it as a mx transistor okay and we have connected the respective capacitors at the output node of each stage fine so let us understand what is this cascading problem so uh, first of all we should look into the uh, pre charge phase yeah this is my pre charge phase so in the pre charge phase uh, we have clock is zero so both mp1 and mp2 are on so irrespective of the states of a b and c input c out one this charge uh, i mean charges the node over here or the node of the first stage to vdd level via mp1 so that means the voltage across this capacitor v out 1 it's vdd level simultaneously your c out 2 is also charging the output node of the second stage towards vdd via mp2 now okay and hence my output c is v out 2 is also vdd now remember whenever we apply a vdd over here to the gate of M mx so mx transistor also turns on but it doesn't matter whatever the value of d and e inputs are okay the output will be pre charged towards vdd level in fact both the stages output will be pre charged towards the vdd level so there is no problem in this case okay let us understand what happens in the other cases yeah so in this case we have clock as one so clock as one in means mp1 and mp2 are off okay that means your output is disconnected from your vdd and we have a stage 1 and stage 2 all the input transistors are on all the pull down transistors are on that means a b and c all are one that means m1 m2 and m3 transistors and mn1 is also on because clock is one so your c out one can discharge this first stage output towards your ground via m1 m2 m3 and mn1 transistor okay so your c out one discharges towards the ground and over here this input i mean this output v out one is zero okay and this is applied to the gate of nmos transistor which will turn it off okay which will turn it off so output was supposed to be at your vdd level your output was supposed to be at vdd level but now it's charging towards zero okay so i will make you understand why it is happening output this charge is slowly just wait let me check that particular case yeah okay so what really happens is since the evaluation also stage starts so both the stages start to evaluate together okay so uh, you know by the time the pre charge phase is over by the time the pre charge phase is over what was the output v out 1 so v out 1 output was vdd right and that has turned on the transistor t on i mean mx transistor on right 
so during that time the mx transistor was on but now when we enter the evaluate phase see out discharges via four transistors m1 m2 m3 and mn1 so definitely it will take some time okay definitely it will take some time so let's consider that the see out discharges very fast okay so during that time during that time mx was on during the precharge phase during during the precharge phase was ending that time mx was on so simultaneously when the for the momentary for momentary you know time mx was on see out to also charges towards the ground because it sees that all the transistor inputs are one logic one so it immediately discharges towards zero that means both my v out one and v out two are tending towards zero so what is the problem over here v out one v out one since mx transistor is off it should remain that vdd but it is discharging towards zero so that is what the problem is because the first stage is taking some time to discharge so let's say it discharges very fast now really what happens is because of the precharge phase since v out 1 was vdd put priorly immediately when you enter the evaluation stage your mx transistor is momentarily on so see out 2 also discharges with it okay so here is the case with the first stage discharge faster now let's see the situation where the see out is discharging slower okay see out value is discharging at a slower pace so here in this case we will consider that uh, you know uh, before the v out 1 you know voltage discharges fully towards the ground it let's say it discharges very slowly so from 5 volts it's dropping to 4 volts dropping to 3 volts still mx transistor is on still your transistor is on okay so that means what the transistor means on means what your c out 2 will discharge towards the ground via mx m4 m5 and mn2 okay so here in this case we are considering that the first stage output is discharging slowly still it is enough to make this you know transistor mx on and what will happen the c out 1 will discharge towards the ground and v out 2 will be zero okay v out 1 is still not zero now let us see further so let's say further v the v out 1 value is discharging okay v out is discharging slowly so from 3 volts it has gone to 2 volts it has gone to less than 1 volt now let's consider that the threshold voltage of this mx transistor is 1 volt and when we are applying a gate voltage lesser than the threshold voltage this mx transistor turns off so what will really really you know happen but what happens is v out has already fallen in the voltage level okay because you see v out has already start to discharge towards the ground fine so that means your v out level has already started to reduce to ground okay so but what should happen v out 2 should have been remained at logic 1 but it has already fallen so if my if what will happen next is if my v out 2 is less than the vih of the third stage let's say if there is third stage over here then it will incorrectly interpret it as logic 0 by the next stage okay because v out 2 has fallen so below below the vih of the next stage that it will incorrectly interpret it as logic 0 by the next stage okay so that is what the problem is uh, let me explain you diagrammatically okay so we are in the evaluate phase of the clock so clock is 1 in this case both the outputs are zero so now again when we are in the precharge phase the output of both the stages are are vdd level okay now the output 1 takes you know stays there for a longer time okay because in the precharge phase because it is taking some time for it to discharge by that time your v out 2 which was supposed to remain at vdd has fallen down already i have told you the reasons why told you the reasons why correct over here the c out one discharge is too slow you know still the mx transistor is on that means your output voltage c out uh, output voltage v out 2 is discharging towards ground okay so that is what is happening 
here it is written in written in words that uh, you know at the beginning of evaluation phase when the when the clock is one the second stage considers v out one at vdd so mx is on with d and d and e is on uh, you know m5 and m4 are on and this will drop the output voltage towards the zero volt erroneously so this is the problem this happens because v out one takes some finite time to discharge that's the only reason it happens okay and uh, what will happen is at the output v out two which was supposed to remain at vdd it will go to ground go to zero volt which is wrong okay so uh, you know this logic or this level cannot be recovered this erroneous level cannot be recovered back as your dynamic gate rely on the temporary storage of charge on the capacitor so one solution to avoid the cascading problem in dynamic cmos logic is that set all the inputs to zero during the precharge phase so that all the transistors in the pull down network are off okay so this way it will prevent any unnecessary discharge of the storage capacitor during the evaluation period that means correct operation is guaranteed as long as the input can only make a zero to one transition during the evaluation period okay so transistors are on when needed and at most once per cycle so another possible solution to the cascading problem in dynamic cmos logic is domino logic so which will be studying in the next class so why avoid using cascading dynamic cmos logic the problem of a logical glitch get worse as we increase the number of cascaded stages since the delays associated will be additive from one stage to the other stage so this problem restricts the use of dynamic cascade and mos and nmos cascades that is why you should avoid using this uh, you know dynamic cmos logic cascades fine so i think all these are the yeah all this are the wording you all can go through it it's uh, it's written systematically as per the diagrams okay so again i repeat once effective once uh, quickly so what is the problem of cascading so v out one output during the precharge phase was at vdd level okay during the precharge phase v out one and v out two both were simultaneously vdd level okay so uh, when you are entering the evaluation phase when you are entering the evaluation phase let's say your you know c out one it's discharging because discharging towards the ground because a b c all are one inputs are one so m1 m2 n3 mn1 are all on okay but eventually v out equal to vdd was in the precharge phase so already second stage is considering this to be at vdd level even before it discharges so that means c out all c out two also simultaneously discharges with c out one already the output voltage is starting to reduce it should not it should remain at 5 volts okay and let's consider the situation that v out c out is discharging very very slowly and once it discharges below 1 volt that is the threshold voltage then this transistor turns off and then what should happen the output v out two should remain at vdd level but already it has fallen in the amplitude which will result to incorrect output okay or incorrectly interpreted input for the next phase so that is the problem which we are addressing okay and this can be solved by using a domino cmos logic i think that is all for this session okay so we will discuss the domino cmos logic during the next session until then have a good day and thank you